Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another foundation full day wear test and we are trying the new Guerlain foundation. This isn't the first time I'm ever trying a Guerlain foundation and usually they have really good reviews so I'm very curious about this. So if you're interested continue watching. We're gonna do application, check-ins and different lights and all that good stuff. And of course, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. Don't forget to subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are on because I've had subscribers that follow me for a long time say I haven't seen your videos pop up. So hopefully if you do that, if you set your notification bell on, it will notify you when my videos are up. So let's get started. This foundation has some claims that contradict each other. It is called the Terracotta Lutent healthy glow foundation in the description uh, at sephora it says it's a natural finish liquid formula medium coverage matte finish best for dry combo normal skin so you have glow in the description you have natural finish and matte in the highlights so we shall try that out i think it's from what i could tell i swatched it last night on my hand just to see the color it looked quite matte so i'm curious it's supposed to um stay on 24 hours transfer proof um and a healthy looking glow and luminous matte finish <sighs> oxymoron i will let you know all the deeds of what it exactly it will look on. So I'll actually show you the outer box because I think it's really pretty and sleek. This is how it comes in the box. The color I got is 2N and this is supposed to be, I think, light neutral. It's light neutral beige undertone. This is the packaging. It is actually absolutely gorgeous. Look at that cap if you can see it. It's a beautiful glass bottle and it looks luxurious and it feels luxurious. Even the cap is not super plasticky. It's not the heaviest, but it's much better than many other caps, plastic caps that I've seen. And this is a beautiful gold pump. So I think the packaging is actually very beautiful, very luxurious. I like it. I will swatch the color right here for you. Um, the texture is not runny, it's creamy but light. So that is the color 2N and it looks beautiful, right? Well, we shall wait a little bit because this will oxidize. I saw that yesterday and then um, I'm going to leave this on and then do another um, swipe of a foundation once this dries down so you can see how much it oxidizes. From my say video, we have learned to moisturize before. Uh, if you guys don't haven't seen that video, I started a prescription Retin-A and my skin has been kind of flaky. I've even exfoliated before. I've done a whole face routine. I've done my hair, which is really volumizing. I've done the air wrap, which I know a lot of people say it's so fast, so easy. I love the air wrap, but it takes me longer than a curling iron. Um, but I do get a different effect. Anyway, um, so we're moisturizing with a nice thick moisturizer. And I usually do a primer, one side with a primer, one side without. Ugh, this seems a little bit matte, so I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I will. I will do a primer on this side. Let's do this side. Just a tiny bit around the pore area. That's pretty much my biggest issue with my skin is pores are quite visible. And right now there's some texture or a peeling. It's actually gotten so much better. So hopefully you won't have that issue with this, with this foundation. I am taking one pump. I'm trying to put it here so we can let that dry. And I'm gonna go in the side that doesn't have a primer. I'm very curious about this foundation. I haven't seen any reviews. I don't know anything about Guerlain foundations in general. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Jumbo Base and start blending this in. Because of the texture, I have a feeling it's gonna dry down pretty quickly. 
from how it felt on my skin. I'm gonna pin my hair back. I ordered cute clips just so I can use them in my videos when I apply foundation because I don't want my hair to get um, in my foundation anymore. Okay, so far, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous right now on the skin. Wow. So yesterday when I swatched it on my hand, I put it on and it completely dried down and the way it looked on my hands, it showed all the wrinkles. Um, you know, you do this, so your skin stretches and then I would do this and I could see the foundation getting into all those wrinkles and I was like, no, I hope not. Like I didn't love the way it looked. Even the finish, it looked very matte. I probably did have extremely dry hands, but I was just slightly disappointed or wary of how this would go on. But right now it looks absolutely gorgeous, actually. It looks phenomenal. I would say the finish is natural right now leaning a little bit matte. I don't see glow whatsoever. And if you see that glow, I think that's more from my cream, uh, the moisturizing cream. I don't think it's coming from the foundation itself. Even here on my hand where it's settled or it dried down, there's not a ton of glow. There's just, yeah, it feels quite matte um, on the skin. I don't think this is a luminous foundation. And I love the color right now. We shall see if it oxidizes though, because I feel like it's already turning a little bit peachy right here. Not bad, like it matches me really nicely, but um, ooh, I love this so far. Oh, I'm excited. Even around my nose that has some texture and some peeling, it looks really, really nice. So this is with and then without. And I think it looks gorgeous. So, so beautiful. What a beautiful finish. Good coverage. I would say right now it's a good medium coverage. I feel like my freckles are almost completely gone. I have slight redness right here. That's why I don't think it's full, but it's a good medium coverage. So pretty. Oh, I'm excited and I have so much to do today. So this is even better. So on this side, I put almost a full pump. And then we're gonna go on this side with the same amount. Uh, I was gonna use a beauty blender, but I don't have a clean one right now or a wet one. So let's see how it goes over the prime part around the pores. The pores look absolutely fabulous right here. Um, so I don't really think for right now, you would really need a primer for your pores I think it looks really beautiful. And I think my skin is quite dry right now, quite flaky and dry. You know, we're going through the peeling process um, and it has not emphasized that at all so far. We will see around the nose on this area. I am bringing it just a little bit under the eyes. I just wanna see how it works there as well. The color is really nice. I love this color. Um, it initially looked a little yellow, and then once I put it on, it calmed down that yellowness, and it looks, I would say, neutral with a dot of peach. A dot. I mean, I, I would say this is a good neutral period, but if I'm super picky, I could see just the tiniest... 1% peachiness in it, which is my perfect thing. I am a neutral color with the slightest peach undertone. Okay, so I did not use a whole pump on this side. Um, I, I would say probably half to two thirds of a pump on each side, and it gave me amazing coverage for me. I am trying to be more aware of foundation on my lips. I know it bothers so many people, and honestly, it bothers me when I see on other people. It just doesn't bother me on myself. This looks so absolutely beautiful right now. It is gorgeous. It looks 
fabulous on the skin. The finish, I would say it's, I would say it's still that natural with slight matte. Like I don't feel like there's any glow to it. And if there is, it's probably just my moisturizer, but we'll see how it works throughout the day or how it looks throughout the day. Oh, I just noticed that the cap here also has the Guerlain um, logo. I don't know if you can tell, there you go. Really pretty packaging. Um, yeah, I think it looks fabulous. Even around the nose, I think this looks much better than the Say foundation. Even though this is more matte, natural finish, the Say is glowy, this still looks better around my nose. Still not perfect, but I don't expect that um, to be perfect. I can kind of see a little bit of that texture, but sorry, I keep dropping this, um, but it's so much better than the foundations I've been using. Love this. Love this so, so much. Now I've let this dry. I'm going to put a pump here so we can see how it dries down slash oxidize. See? I mean, that is a huge difference. And this, I'm going to let this dry for a couple of minutes and then I'll compare it to see if this actually is the way it dries down or the way it oxidizes, but it's definitely much peachier than when you first apply it. Uh, rub this in to see. Leave that there for a couple of minutes. Let's zoom you in so you can see up close. So this is the side with the primer. And then this is the side without the primer. And I honestly don't see a huge difference. They both look really beautiful. Even the side that doesn't have the pore filling primer, the pores look really, really good. Um, I love the way it looks on the forehead, on my cheeks. I love this finish so much. It's probably my favorite finish, that natural finish. There's not too glowy, but it's not that matte, dry look. It looks like my skin just perfected. And the coverage is such a good medium coverage. I think it is beautiful. You could probably build this up for a full, but I really don't want to. I think it's too beautiful to mess that up because I don't love full coverage and this is the most coverage I will want in a foundation. Absolutely gorgeous. Here I have the foundation. This is been about four minutes since I applied it. And then this I've applied it when I started the video. You can see definitely that it is, it is darker. Um, the only thing is this still has a sheen to it and this is completely matte. So I'm going to wait a, even a little bit longer and see the difference. I'm going to leave this on while I do the rest of my makeup uh, and show you at the end. But right now it seems like it would oxidize some. So be aware of that when you swatch it. But the 2N for me, it still looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup and come back and show you the finished look. Literally, as I was putting my lip liner, the mail came and I ordered one of the Too Faced lip injector, um, what is this, lip liner. So we're gonna take this one off and we're gonna try this together because I'm really interested in the formula and the color and everything. The one I'm wearing today is the Lisa Eldridge in Sorcery. I absolutely love it. And I was like, oh, I haven't worn that in a long time, but we're going to take that off. The color I have is Puffy Nude, and this is supposed to be a plumping lip liner. We shall see about that. I'll tell you what I put on my face real quick. Seattle London sent me, um, a pretty big PR so I was so thankful and excited on the eyes I have this from them this is the editor palette and I haven't put actual eyeshadow like for a while so I was excited to play with this um, and you know what so far I've loved the formula the mattes are a little dry but extremely blendable but these shimmers like this is the one I'm wearing on the top they have like glitter in them, but some of them are very soft, like this one and this one that's in my inner corner. So yeah, there's like one, two, three, I think four that are more glittery, which I do really like. And then some that are soft shimmer. The mattes are really pretty so far. This is 
lovely. Um, so I want to try a couple more things from them and let you guys know. Uh, I like doing like the last video I did about like PR things, testing them out and telling you what I think about them. Um, I may do another one of those. I also tried their, their mascara. This is the Wonder Wand mascara. And so I like the wand and all that. On the bottom lashes, I put my hourglass. I'm not even gonna mess <laughs> with a different mascara on the lower lashes. But I kind of felt like they fell. They gave me a volume, not that much length, but lots of volume, but they kind of fell. So I feel like I have to push them up, but we will see once, you know, at the end of the day how this wore. And their blush, I put this blush on. This is in the color Breeze marbled light and it's beautiful this is the third time i'm using this and i think it's really beautiful it definitely reminds me of that hourglass sheen beautiful blush right there i like it i've been using this again i think three times and it's wonderful and i think that's all i used from theirs they sent me some other lip products a beautiful nail polish which that is looks absolutely stunning but I wanted to mention those. And let's see, the foundation, um, I think it oxidizes. I saw it slowly getting darker throughout the past, I don't know, 20 minutes that I've been doing my, my, my makeup. And then it kind of stayed there. So just, just know that. Although, you know, the foundation still matches. It doesn't look orange on me, but it was a little lighter when I applied it and then within 10, 20 minutes, it got a little darker and it stayed there. The concealer that I used is my Huda Beauty Concealer. I'm talking fast because I wanna go have lunch with Andrew. <laughs> so Too Faced Lip Injector Extreme Limp Shaper. I'm very curious about that. Oh, so it has like a button here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I never like these. Um, that you have to push up and the tip is round which I find that to probably be kind of hard to shape to shape your lip well Ooh, the color is absolutely beautiful and this is seems soft yeah it seems soft and look how easy it was to blend that out I'm curious I am in between I like usually lip liners that are crayon style because they don't dry out. They are more on the normal to dry, which is what I like because I think they stay longer. It's easier for me to shape. Um, I don't like super creamy lip liners. They just move around too much, but this seems to be a good in between. So actually I'm gonna take this mirror. This won't cover my face. So let's see. Okay. I feel like it has a scent. Yeah, I don't love the application. I wish it was pointed, but I think once you use it, you can kind of shape it that way. Love the color though. Are you, can you see my mess? I'm gonna fill it in and see how it feels. I really like the color. I, I just really don't like the packaging though. Okay, so this is definitely becoming a little stingier <laughs> the more it's on. I'm not hating it, it's not unbearable, but it's a definitely very noticeable. Uh, I'm curious if it'll get more or if it'll calm down. Um, it's a little sticky, not bad though. For a lip liner, I feel like that's a good quality because it'll stay there. Um, and I definitely feel the need to put something on top. This is a beautiful, cool, mauve color. I definitely go for more neutral browns, rather than this cool tone but it's a pretty color i would want to put something on top of it though it is a definitely plumping <laughs> do my lips look plump i don't know but yeah 
they look plump. I'm gonna take this Natasha Denona lipstick in my dream. I'm gonna put this in the center-ish. And I think I'm gonna put her gloss on top. I love that mixture. Uh, still plumping. I could not find this. Finally, I find it. I found it behind the laptop. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of this in the center. This is the same My Dream collection. I love this lip uh, gloss. Okay, the plumping is still going on. Like, if you do not like plumping on your lips, you will hate this because it's a very plumping. Well, that is a very interesting. I don't know how I feel about this. I have to say it's quite plumping and noticeable. Um, I don't know if my lips are more sensitive or not, uh, but I'm on the fence about this. I I'll let you know, I like the color. I like the formula. It seems like it's not too slippery, but it's not drying. Um, I just no don't know if I like the effect and if it made any difference. I could have just worn that by itself, but if it was a little too sticky for me to wear it by itself. So I wanted to put something on top. Anyway, moving on to the foundation. The foundation looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's zoom you in. Here we have the foundation really up close. I think it looks very perfected, a very natural finish, not too glowy. Uh, around the pore area, it looks beautiful on both sides, even the side that was primed and the side that wasn't. I don't see a difference in between those. Um, the finish is beautiful. I would say it's a natural finish. I did not put a highlighter, so you can kind of see on the forehead, on the cheeks, how it looks. The blush I use does have a glow to it. I should have thought about that, but um, I think you guys can tell how it looks overall. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go natural light and do some check-ins there and wear it throughout the day. I may even work out today. We'll see. We'll see if I have the energy. I feel like I had a late start today. I did my hair, I took a shower, I did all that after kids left for school and like I wasted a couple hours. But um, so far I love, I love the color as well. I feel like it matches me really well. One of the better foundation matches I've had in a while. And yeah, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think? I am loving the makeup. I feel, feel very spring ready. It's actually really nice outside. I, I decided to wear this. Uh, I need to go to Sephora. I go pick up the kids. A lot of little things that I have to do today. So I will take you with me and show you in all the lights that I can find. All right, guys, first check-in. It's in natural light. I just applied the makeup like an hour ago. Um, the lips are still plumping and I don't think I like it. I think it's just, I feel it too much. I don't know, do they look fuller? <laughs> um, but the makeup, the foundation is absolutely gorgeous. This finish, I do see that it ha it's, has more luminosity than when I applied it in there, but it's not, super glowy i think it's it's so beautiful it's me and this is how we're looking like you can see that finish that it has a luminosity to it it's not too glowy though um i think it's a really really beautiful and the eyes you see the sparkle that is um the texture of that eyeshadow but I think it looks very perfecting. It almost reminds me of the Tom Ford, not the shade, it, it's a mixture between Tom Ford's Shade and Illuminate and the Tom Ford so, uh, Traceless Matte one. It kind of reminds me of that finish and I think it's really, really beautiful, very perfecting. To me, this is a medium plus coverage. I feel like my uh, freckles are gone. I don't see them and just overall, I'm loving it. How's my makeup looking, Andrew? Oh, it looks great from here. <laughs> anyway, we're about to have lunch and ruin this lip, but yeah, I'm not sure I like, I'm not sure I like that lip liner. I like the color and the formula, but the, the tingling, I feel like it's excessive or unneeded for me personally. And that's about it. I'll see you in a little bit.
I am in my car again doing another check-in. Um, it's been probably four hours since I applied this and everything looks absolutely gorgeous still. Even the texture here, the peeling, everything looks so good. Wow. It's been a while since I had such a good foundation that has like good coverage. Oops, sorry. Good coverage and a beautiful finish. It's so, so good. Even around the nose where we're peeling a lot, I think it looks still really pretty. So yeah, everything looks great. The foundation shade has not gotten darker. So it initially had that shift and then it stayed that way. And I feel like honestly, for me, it's almost a perfect shade. Um, I'm quite tan right now, so I would say I could even go for 2.5, but overall I think this 2N shade is one of the better colors that I've had in such a long time. Also, look at the glow. It's like a soft radiance. It's not oily. It's not glowy. It's completely set. I did not set this with powder. Nothing comes off. Um... I ate. There's no movement around the mouth. Um, and I'm just very impressed with its foundation. Like I mentioned, I think it's one of the most beautiful foundations I've tried in a while. Uh, the lip thing. So the plumping of the lip liner lasted a couple hours and I I don't think I loved it. Like I think it made my lips look a little plumper. But it was so noticeable, like I was concentrating on that. And I don't think I like that. So I think for me, I like the color. I like the um, the way it felt on the lips. I liked just the texture of it. I just didn't love the plumping effect. And I think that's the whole point of it. But if you're into those plumping lip products, you may actually really like it. So yeah, I need to do some other errands and I will talk to you soon. Hello guys, here we are outside again on the swing. Um, I think last check-in before the final check-in, this is how we're looking like. Let's zoom you in, it's so bright my eyes are, <laughs> they're squinting. So everything looks uh, pretty much exactly the same. I don't really see any difference even around the nose i still think it looks nice i moved a little bit more in the light so this is how we're looking like i think everything looks so good and perfected i feel like some of the mascara ran a little bit there but nothing terrible yeah i think this looks absolutely fabulous i love it it's been many hours later and i think it looks just so beautiful i love the finish it didn't get glowier it didn't um move at all even though i ate i'm about to eat some more just it just stayed so well and i love the finish of this foundation it settled a little bit here but i would say every single foundation that i own unless it's like extremely light coverage it will settle um, in my fine lines there but everywhere else around the pores even around the nose it looks great and remember i have a lot of peeling and dryness to my skin right now so this is a huge huge positive um i wasn't expecting much from this foundation just because i didn't try any of the guerlain foundations so uh this is makes me want to try more from them because the finish is so so beautiful so that's it for now uh i swapped my lips a little bit because why not um and that's about it i'll see you guys probably tonight maybe i'll do one more check-in we will see but that's everything for now so i have decided to go work out it will be a pretty intense workout it's like hit training so we're gonna put this foundation to the test and this is the before everything literally looks perfect i love this foundation right now and then i will do a check-in after and then the final check-in it's kind of getting dark outside i'm not even sure if i'm gonna have good light when i come out from working out if not i'll just do um a, an end of the day check-in sorry i'm tired so i will see you in a little bit Whew, i just arrived home 
that was intense my legs are literally shaking i'm not even sure i'm supposed to work out tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m i'm not sure if i'm gonna make it anyway the foundation let's check the foundation i didn't even check it yet i'm gonna try to go outside and see if the light works yeah it works as i was walking outside my battery died um so yeah here we are again i let it charge a little bit and this is how we're looking like i really think everything is still looking so good i did sweat a lot and i'm gonna have to go you know in a close mirror in good light and really see how everything looks like but so far i think this is one of the better foundations that i've tried you know in a while i really like the makeup by mario one i love the shantakai one but this is I, I would say even more coverage than those and just long lasting uh, beautiful beautiful i love it so so much so this is the last check-in before the final one so far so good wore it all day um like i said i worked out and everything i'm very curious to go in the studio light and see how it looks because there in person you see every single thing in those lights not so much on camera but in um in the mirror you're mortified so that's it for now i'll see you at the end of the day we have made it to the end of the day obviously i look very different i have a different top on i worked out in this top i just tried this lipstick from Ciate. this is in i'm blind i truly cannot see in the color muse and i don't know i was expecting to be a little more muted and i think it's a little bright the formula seems nice though uh okay the foundation i think this foundation is absolutely gorgeous amazing i love it so much um this was a almost love at first application and i just started loving it more and more throughout the day the more i saw how well it held out held up um to all the tasks that i was doing today my child actually smacked me in the face right here he's two um i think it was out of love <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. It's been a long day, but I'm excited to um, take this makeup off. So here, let's zoom in. This is how we're looking like. This side is the one that had the primer. And I do think the pores look a little bit better here than the side that didn't have a primer. Uh, in this side, it almost like the foundation got into the pores. So you kind of see them here. It's, it's laying over the pores in a good way. I hope that makes sense. I also broke a nail today. I know, first world problems. The foundation still looks really good around the forehead. The chin is a little bit gone, but so much better than probably all of my other foundations. Even the blush uh, bronzer, it, the bronzer's cream, it's the Tom Ford cream uh, bronzer contour. In the blush, it's still there. It's the end of the day and I worked out, I did so many things and it's still there. Um, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks more worn, but this looks how other foundations look at the four hour mark and this is what, 12 hour mark. So it, I, think, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Also the eyeshadow is still there. It has creased a little bit, but it's still there and it's pretty and sparkly and i'm impressed with that eyeshadow very easy to use so as you can gather i absolutely love this foundation i think it will become a favorite the one thing i forgot to mention is that it has a scent i assume it's the guerlain scent i have the same scent in their powders let's see yes it's like the same scent but when you apply it, I didn't, I, I didn't notice it at all, at all. When I swatched it, I intentionally went to smell it. I could smell it, but after I was applying it, I didn't even notice that it was there. Otherwise, I would have noted, I would have mentioned it earlier in the application process. Love the packaging. I think it's really good. Um, I think you get 1.1 ounce. 
Yes, 35 ml. And the price is up there, $62. But if you're needing a good foundation, I see this being good for pretty much any skin type. But maybe if you're extremely oily, that may not be great for you because it tends to have a slight luminosity to it, even though it's literally st stuck to my face. <laughs> it will not move. It it doesn't feel like anything. I, I feel like I can rub my face and literally nothing is coming off. Yes, it's still there. How crazy is that? Yeah, I, I'm very impressed in this foundation. I think it's well worth the money. Uh, the sale is coming and if you are in need of a good foundation, this is it. This is the way to go. So that is everything for today. Uh, oh, the lip liner. I think you guys kind of got my thoughts on the lip liner. I think it stayed actually pretty good throughout the day until I took took my lipstick off and tried other things. It did stay on really well. I love the application, um, like the texture. I don't like the packaging at all. I don't like that you have to click it up. Um, it already rounded out a little bit. So I think the tip, it's you're gonna be able to shape it as you more, the more you use it, the more you shape it. Um, but I don't like the tingling. So there's that. And that's everything for today. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm so curious in your thoughts and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.